Hey guys, and welcome back to the Family Fudge. Today I have the whole family with me. I'm just waiting on my husband who's on the phone. But we are headed out to go to Costco, Winco, Walmart. We're doing all of our shopping for the week all at once. There's certain things that I like to buy at Costco, and then there's other things that I don't like to buy in bulk that I either find at Walmart or at Winco. So come along with us. Hey, stop that. And there's grumpy children in this car. The family fudge, the family fudge. They are mostly sweet but full of nuts. Oh yes, and at the end of this video, I'm gonna announce who won those two Hallmark recipe binders. So stay tuned to find out if it was you. Now, of course, if we find anything new, interesting, or fun along the way, we will definitely show it to you. And then when we get back, I'll show you everything that we picked up. <laughs> who is whining? Is that Griffin? <sighs> Griffin just woke up from a nap, so the last place he wants to be is in his car seat, but it is what it is. It's been a long day, we got a lot done, we did school and gymnastics, and now we're ready to pick up everything that we need for the week. I'm hoping to do some um, Crocktober recipes, so every Wednesday I'm hoping to share a different crock pot recipe, so I need to pick up some stuff for that. But you know what, I think I'm gonna switch over to this seat. I was gonna drive and then he was gonna ride, but I think I'm gonna switch because I kind of like to check out the new Costco coupon book and work on my shopping list. So when he gets back here, I'm gonna let him drive. Okay, looks like, are you done? Are you done? Okay, it looks like he's coming, let's switch. Okay guys, so we just made it to Walmart. We're gonna start at Walmart, and then I think to Winco, and then Costco? Sure. Yes, I think so. And I forgot to mention that yesterday I actually ran to Trader Joe's because they just put out all of their new pumpkin flavored stuff. So I think I'll go ahead and show you what I picked up from Trader Joe's as well. Are you guys ready? Yeah. Uh, Let's go. What are the rules? No screaming, no crying, no running away, no stealing things. That's right, no stealing. Let's and no go. No acting crazy in the store. That's right, no, no acting crazy. No running away for mom. No running away. That's right. Now we didn't have a lot of stuff on our Walmart list today. I mostly wanted to go there because I had a lot of really good coupons through my Ibotta app. One of the best deals of the day was on this jar of Nutella, which I ended up getting for just one dollar through my Ibotta app. Now I told the kids if they were good in the store, we would stop and look at the Halloween decorations before we left. Walmart had some really cute decorations, but they also had a lot of creepy, gory decorations. There was one in particular that looked like some sort of critter in a box, and Griffin really liked it, even though it was weird. But Jackson, when he saw it, he ran away crying. So when we took it from Griffin to put it back on the shelf, then he started crying because he really loved it. Oh. Time to go. Okay guys, plan B. I went into Winco all by myself. Without the kids, they stayed in the car with dad. I'm just gonna grab a few things. I wanna show you something that I really like about Winco, and that is the bulk section. Okay guys, so this is where the story takes a little bit of a twist. Because when I was coming out of Winco, I went to put everything in the back of the car, and then I went to close the door. And I wasn't really paying attention, I was trying to hurry, and I ended up hitting myself in the face with my car door. And it busted my nose and bruised up my face right here. You can, you can tell it was, right now it doesn't look too bad just a little cut right here and some swelling right here. But at the time, there was blood everywhere and the kids were worried and I was not happy about it. But unfortunately, I do things like that, sort of clumsy things, more than I'd like to admit. Mm. Did I ever tell you I was accident prone? It's true. So I'm gonna try to like hide this with my glasses and continue on. 
Now thankfully Costco was not very crowded today at all and we spent a lot of time in the toy section. Lily has a birthday coming up so I really wanted to get a good idea of what kind of things she might like to get. We wrapped up our night by having dinner at the Costco food court. Nothing special but really convenient. So now we're back home. I've laid out everything that we picked up. I also added the things that I picked up from Trader Joe's yesterday because I just wanted to show you guys that as well. So I'll show you what we got. I will share with you my menu plan and then I have the announcement about the giveaway of the two recipe binders. Okay guys, so you can probably tell that we only picked up food items this time. We didn't need any toilet paper or detergent or anything like that, just food items. So we really stocked up on a lot of staple items, as well as some things for some upcoming recipes and things like that. So I'll go ahead and start with my things from Costco and then I'll move on over here. Back here we picked up a big bag of this new coconut cashew butter granola. We've never tried this before, but it sounds really good and it's gluten free. So the whole family can enjoy it together. We also picked up a double pack of the whole organic milk and a big box of these fig bars. These are really good, but I pretty much only buy them when they go on sale, and right now, they're on sale. So in here we have 12 apple cinnamon, 12 blueberry, and 12 raspberry. These are really good, and made with whole grains as well. Now, not made of whole grains, but equally as tasty, we have the bagel bites. We picked these up the last time we were at Costco, and the kids actually really liked them. And it was only $5.49 for this huge box of 72. Back over here, I picked up a package of the orange chicken. Now, these are actually on sale right now as well. This is kind of like um, Panda Express orange chicken. It's really good. We also picked up a double pack of some mozzarella cheese. This will be going into some pizzas and things like that. We also picked up a package of the wheel cheese. We get this just about every time now, and these are a lot like baby bell cheeses. And as you can tell, we already gave one to Griffin as we were driving back. We also picked up a big watermelon. I was really surprised to still see them in the store. So we got one of those. We also got another package of the Asian cashew chopped salad. I bought this for the first time last time and it was so good. The kids didn't really care for it, but I liked it, so we bought it again. I also got a package of cottage cheese, sour cream, more sliced cheddar for lunches, a big package of string cheese. We also got a triple pack of the organic ground beef for some upcoming recipes. I got a double pack of the Kinder's barbecue sauce. This was marked down to only about $5 for two big bottles, so that's a really good deal. And lastly from Costco, I picked up this package of Cocktail cucumbers. These things are so cute. They look like pickles, um, but they're cucumbers. I'm hoping that my kids will eat these. Okay, so the Winco stuff and the Walmart stuff is kind of jumbled together. So I'll just go ahead and group them together, and then I'll show you the stuff from Trader Joe's because the Trader Joe's stuff is pretty unique, and you can pretty much only get these, these things at Trader Joe's. So starting back here, I picked up a bag of pretzels. As you can tell, we already got into them on the drive home. You know, when we go on these big shopping trips, we're usually gone for several hours. So we snack on some of the things that we buy. We end up having dinner at Costco, things like that. I also picked up this package of pre-cooked turkey sausages, two loaves of wheat bread, and then this is something that I really like from Winco. This is their pre-made pizza dough. And it's only $1.48 per ball, and this will make a really good size pizza or calzone. Um, you can even make um, cinnamon rolls out of this dough. And I'll actually stick one in the freezer and the other one I'll make into pizzas sometime this week. To go with this, I also picked up two packages of the turkey pepperoni. I really like the turkey ones are not as greasy as the traditional ones. I also picked up a big bag of the organic red potatoes. And these are gonna be going into a cowboy casserole that I can make in the crock pot. So I'm excited to give that a try. I also picked up a package of the whole wheat English muffins. And then I picked this up for myself. I'm pretty much the only one in the family that eats this kind of stuff, but I love the creamy tomato soup. 
it's organic, it was only $2 for this big carton, and it's so quick and easy. Very tasty. I also picked up a package of strawberries, some pears, some onions, and some bell peppers. I also got some of the uncured salami. We really like the uncured variety. No, these ones are from these are from Walmart. These are the farm rich um, pre-cooked meatballs. And normally I like the turkey ones, but it looks like my husband picked up these ones. And these ones are nice because they're gluten-free. Most pre pre-made store-bought uh, meatballs are not gluten-free. Back here I picked up something new. These are bagel thins. And I got these to make some lunches out of. You can see they, they look like a regular bagel, but they're really thin. This week I started a new series where I share what I pack my kids for lunch every day. So some of these things like the bagel thins and the fruits and vegetables will be going into those videos. Over here I picked up a package of the frozen stir fry mix and this one actually has mushrooms and sugar snap peas. It's really good to throw in a stir fry. I also picked up one yogurt. This is the Pumpkin Harvest Crisp. I've never tried this before, but I've always wanted to. So, one of those. In the pumpkin department, I also got the Pumpkin Spice Cream Cheese. Never tried it, it just sounded really good. I also got a package of the Parmesan cheese for some recipes this week. And then these guys, the, I picked these up because they sounded interesting, and I had the Ibotta coupon. So these were $1.74 a package, and with my Ibotta app, I got $1 off, so that's pretty good. Let's see. Back over here, I picked up lots of pasta. I'm stocking up on my gluten-free pasta. I got one package of spaghetti, one package of elbow, a penne, and one rotini. Yes, rotini, all gluten-free. Over here, I have that carton of cashew butter. This is really good to snack on. There's nothing else in here but cashews. No salt, no added oil, so it's pretty good for you. And then we have these naughty guys. Now surprisingly, my husband was the one who put these in the shopping cart. And you might not know this, but in our family, I'm sort of the junk food fan, not him. Um, and so it was really interesting that he put this in the cart. Um, but I'm glad that he did because in our backyard we have a ton of limes that are all ready to use. So we'll take some Coke and some coconut cream, add lots of fresh lime juice, and have some dirty Cokes. Actually, that sounds really good right now. I might do that later. Over here I also picked up two packages of chocolate chips. We have the mini ones and we have the regular size. I really like putting the mini ones into protein balls with oatmeal and peanut butter. And then these ones are gonna be going into some banana muffins. Over here I had this super good deal on the Nutella. One dollar through the Ibotta app, such a good deal. If you guys are curious, I'll put a link to the Ibotta app in the description box below. And I think if you sign up, you get a $10 bonus. And for every $20 worth of savings, you can cash out. So it's a really good deal. It's free to join, so. If you like saving money, check out Ibotta. Now, I think all I have left are my things from Trader Joe's. Now, it is pumpkin spice season at Trader Joe's, so they have so many pumpkin things there. And I did pick up some of the pumpkin JoJo's as well, which are like Oreo cookies, but in one day, they are now completely gone. They are so good, so much better than Oreos. I highly recommend, if you can get to Trader Joe's, you pick those up. I picked up three pack or three cans of the organic Joe O's, and these are just like SpaghettiOs. Som sometimes my kids like these, and sometimes they don't, but I got these because I wanted to try out my kids' new school lunch thermoses, and I want to see if it really keeps them warm or not. So I figured with Joe O's, even if it doesn't keep them warm, it's not going to like make the kids sick if they eat it, you know what I mean? So it's not like going to be bad for them if it's not hot. So it's a good trial food, I suppose. I also picked up a package of the pumpkin pancake and waffle mix. These are so good. So, so good. One of the things that I really like about Trader Joe's is all of their mixes. They have really good um, quality mixes and they're not expensive. This is the banana bread mix. Um, and this one you actually do add real bananas. So I really like that. Not just artificial bananas. 
I also picked up a package of the mini cheese sandwich crackers. Kids really like those. I got some multigrain baking and pancake mix. These are really good. These are these have a lot of whole wheat in them, but they don't taste whole wheat, if you know what I mean. I also picked up two cans of the mandarin oranges, and these are in light syrup. My kids have never had these before, but I thought we could give those a try. I used to like them when I was a kid. I also picked up lots of cereal bars. I have the pumpkin variety, which is really good, my favorite, and my kid's favorite, which is the mango. I also got a package of the Cheddar Rockets. Now these are just like goldfish crackers. And then lastly, I got a box of the Pumpkin O's, which are pretty much just like Cheerios, except they're made with real pumpkin. So here's my dinner menu plan for the next week or so. Tomorrow night will be Friday, which is going to be homemade pizza night. On Saturday, I'm going to be making a taco pasta which is a lot like spaghetti, but instead of Italian seasoning, you use taco seasoning. On Sunday, I'm going to make one of our family favorites, which is deconstructed stuffed peppers. Monday night, I plan on taking a freezer meal out, and it's most likely going to be taco soup. Tuesday will most likely be our leftover night. I try to have at least one leftover night per week. On Wednesday, I'm going to be making that cowboy casserole in the crock pot. And then finally on Thursday, I'm going to be making some orange chicken. <laughs> okay guys, now we're gonna let you know who won the recipe binders. And Lily's gonna help me say the names, right? Yeah. Who's our first winner? Betsy. Betsy L. from North Carolina. North Carolina. Who's the second winner, do you remember? Wendy. Wendy. V. And where's Wendy from? Texas. Yeah, Texas, y'all. Hey friends, thank you so much for joining me today. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. And click that notification bell while you're at it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.